You've seen it on TikTok, you've seen it on Instagram. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the ability here on YouTube to go live into the vertical feed, which shows up directly in YouTube Shorts when people are looking at YouTube Shorts. This is gonna get you in front of more people that might not have clicked on a regular live stream. And by doing so, this can help you grow your viewership on YouTube. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on a phone. I'm gonna show you how to do it on a PC or a Mac computer, just in case you wanna get fancy. And we're starting right now. And hey, if this is your first time here, my name is Nick. I help content creators thrive on YouTube. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe. If you're streaming from a phone and you wanna do it as basic as possible, all you have to do is open the YouTube app, click the plus icon. If you see yourself, then click the pencil icon. If not, you'll see the option to add your stream details, add your title, make sure the visibility is set to public, select your audience, add a description, click into advanced and make sure that your chat is on, seriously. Then click to make sure that your stream is vertical, then click next. After you do that, you're gonna see that your stream is scheduled for now. If you tap go live, you'll immediately be on air. In this setup, down in the bottom right hand side, you're gonna see the chat option. If you wanna toggle front and rear camera, then click the icon on the side. To end the stream, click the X in the top corner. Once you do that, YouTube will give you the stream report and let you know how many people came through the stream. They also have filters available if you wanna use those. For a computer, the experience is more complicated. Yes, you can stream directly into YouTube, but in most cases, that is not what you're gonna wanna do. The reason for that is because YouTube by default is gonna make your stream landscape if your camera's turned that way, and you have to turn your camera vertical in order for it to work that way. But if you don't wanna move your camera around all the time, then that's not really a good solution because in that particular case, you're gonna have to constantly be flipping your camera back and forth. Some people won't care, I do. And if you wanna show comments on your screen and add branding and things like that, YouTube just doesn't allow you to do it. Also, if you go live directly through the YouTube website, there's a whole other big issue. Imagine streaming for an hour and getting tons of viewers into your live streams, more people than you've ever had in your live stream before. You couldn't be happier, everything's going great, you're just crushing, well, that is until you have an internet blip or something minor happens and it causes your stream to go down and causes you to lose all of those viewers that are hanging out. You don't want that to happen, right? I don't know about you, but for me, that's not a risk that I'm willing to take. So there's a better solution that I'm gonna share with you. But if you are willing to lose your viewers, then all you have to do is click on the plus icon at the top of youtube.com, fill in your title and description, then choose your camera, then your category, make it upload your thumbnail, let YouTube know that your stream is or is not for kids, click next, make sure the live chat is selected along with the replay, then click next, make sure visibility is set to public, and then hit done. Once you do that, you're gonna get a stream preview. All you have to do now is click the go live button and you'll be on air. Now let's talk about what to do if you wanna do it the right way where you can screen share, you can check your audio levels, your video quality and graphics and bring guests on and all of that stuff while ensuring that if you have a problem with your stream, you don't lose all of your viewers. For this, I use StreamYard. You can use it for free for up to 20 hours per month or if you want fancy things like having them record stuff in the background or multicasting or unlimited stream time and things like that, then they do of course have paid plans available for that. To stream vertically with StreamYard, all you have to do after you create your account is get everything set up to stream. This setup process is easy, but there are a handful of steps. However, once you get it set up once, you can quickly launch a live stream with just a few clicks and and go live any time that you want. First, connect the destinations that you wanna to stream to. As you can see, I stream to a lot of places. Then click on the home option, then click the plus create button. And as a quick side note, you can also record into this if you wanna make quick shorts or just quick content for any reason, like uh, live stream trailers or something like that. But then you wanna choose the destination that you wanna to stream to, add your title, description, and make sure that the privacy setting is set to public. If you're going to schedule the stream, you can check the box for that and choose your time and add the thumbnail. But if you wanna go live right now, click the next option. Then this part is very, very important. Click on the settings icon, then general at the top, then make sure portrait is selected. From there, click on camera, choose your camera and resolution. And with this, you're still gonna see the landscape view, but hang tight for just a second. We're gonna get you to portrait view in just a second. But you wanna click audio and make sure that you have the right audio source selected. I recommend having a microphone so everybody can hear you clearly. But of course, that's up to you. Once all of that is complete, click the X in the top right-hand corner. Then add your name. 
From there, click the big blue button at the bottom that says Enter Studio. This is where you're gonna see the vertical display. This is called the stage. If you look in the bottom left of your screen, you're gonna see your camera preview. If you click on that, it's going to add your camera to the vertical canvas. Now, because you're not live yet, which is another advantage of StreamYard, this is where you can also make sure that everything is framed properly, make any adjustments if your lights are too bright or something like that. If you wanna share your screen, just click the present option at the bottom and choose the screen that you wanna share and then click it just like you did your camera to add it to the stage. If you wanna invite a guest onto your stream, you can click the invite option, copy the link and then email it to your guest or DM it to them or however it is that you wanna get them that information. If you wanna add a viewer's comment to the screen, you just tap on the comment in the chat box and it's gonna show up on screen for you. Tap it again to remove it. If you wanna add graphics to your screen, all you gotta do is click on the brand icon and scroll down to overlay. Click on the plus icon and then add whatever graphics that you would like there. This is really good for branding stuff, calls to action, things like that. In this area, you can also add clips, custom backgrounds, background music, and even adjust the colors for StreamYard's built-in graphics to match your own branding. If you use StreamYard for landscape streams, I recommend adding a vertical branding section by clicking on the brand name at the top and then choosing new brand. The reason for this is so you don't accidentally add your landscape graphics to your vertical live stream. Just keeps everything cleaner and more organized. I'll put a link to StreamYard down in the description so you can easily find it. And now that you're gonna be going live vertically, you might be interested in making some money from your live streams. If that's the case, click into this playlist right here where it's going to highlight just ways that you can make money as a live streamer. You can go ahead and click into that now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.